Savings is a financial management tool that no successful person can do without. We will not always have the funds we need for the things we want. This means we may have to keep some money aside until it is complete. This is why savings is so important. We may have to save for college. We may have to save to pay our rent, buy a house, or pay off a debt. It is a quintessential tool for financial management. There are few people in the world who don't need savings. Savings is savings, irrespective of the time frame. If you have $5,000 today and you're expecting $10,000 tomorrow, if you keep the $5,000 until you get the other money to purchase what you desire, you actually still saved. There's a difference between saving and savings though. While saving entails keeping money aside from your income, savings indicate the amount that has already been kept aside, usually in a bank account. In this video, I'll share with you 13 money-saving tips that will help you thrive. 1. Hire a professional. This is a no-brainer, right? You need a professional wealth manager to tell you your investment options. They can determine this based on your current income level and advise on which assets suit your risk profile. Some of the times, we don't even know where to start from. If you don't have the patience to read volumes of financial management books and following the stocks market, you should probably hire a professional. Aside from investments, you need to determine if there is a way you can pay less taxes. You can get a professional to help you organize your finances. If you are interested in creating generational wealth, what type of assets you should own and how to pay as little tax as possible are some things experts can tell you. Many of them are fund managers and advise families worth millions of dollars if you can afford one. They can help you save a lot of money in the long run. 2. Spend time checking the benefits of products before you buy. It is really important to be wealthy if you don't buy products on a brand name basis. There's a lot of evidence to show that many of the times, less established brands can often have more benefits for the user than some well-established brands. If you are interested in managing your finances effectively, it means you want every dollar to count. Always take the time to read reviews of products or services online first. Platforms like Yelp and Google My Business can be especially useful. 3. Pay with cash instead of with cards. The seamless way in which transactions are made with cards makes you want to just spend. You can simply slide your card and your account is debited. You don't need to wait for change. Technology is really amazing. The world has since moved on to other trends, but still, cards make people spend more. Imagine having a card linked to an account you intend for saving. What do you think would happen? The savings will probably disappear within a short period. If you make an effort to pay cash only, the stress of going to the ATM to withdraw some money will likely make you spend less than you ordinary would. It is also easier to stick to the budget when you pay cash because you only withdraw what is on your budget. With a card transaction, your credit balance is the limit. As long as there is still some credit left, you can buy more things. Cards can also give us a false impression that we are wealthier than we are. Some cards have transaction limits. Little things like getting a card with a higher transaction threshold can make us make more transactions and spend money carelessly under the impression that we are rich. Wealthy people are barely wealthy in just cash. Most of them leave assets worth millions of dollars, which adds up to their total net worth. 4. If you must own a card, own a debit card. Owning a debit card is a bit similar to paying with cash only. With a debit card, you can only spend what you have. With a credit card, you can spend what you really don't have and pay later. This is really a problem for a lot of people. There is really nothing wrong with a credit card. In fact, credit card companies are saving lives in America. Small business owners will never have enough liquid to keep their business going without credit cards. But then, you have to pay back the money. There is also interest involved. The more you use your credit card, the more indebted you are. It is not pretty when you lose your job. Whether or not you have a stream of income, you have to pay your debt. It gets better. If you default payment, the interest may compound, putting you in even more debt. Credit cards are good. Debit cards are better. You can pay now so that you will not have to pay more later. It actually saves you a lot of money. 5. Don't call all your friends every day. You may not even know, but your phone bills may be more costly than you think. Remember that in the mind of rich people, every dollar counts. If you want to be rich, you have to start thinking this way. You cannot spend hours on the phone daily talking to your friends just for the sake of talking. Major corporations have their executives on phone conferences every now and then. It is usually to clarify the terms of a big agreement that will pay the rent and the salary of all companies' executives. When you make phone calls, what is your purpose? It's a free country. You can call whoever you like. But cutting down on phone calls will definitely save you some money. 6. Have a detailed financial goal. When you have a goal, it is easier to figure out how to achieve it. When you don't have a goal, 
you will hardly be able to really focus on achieving anything at all. Financial goals keeps us on our toes. If we say we want to become millionaires before the age of 30, we can start asking ourselves, what are we currently doing? Where is all our money going? How much have we saved? Financial goals can sometimes feel stressful, but ask yourself, if you knew with certainty that five years from now that you would never worry about rent, food and clothing again, would you be willing to try? No one likes financial burdens when they don't have enough to take care of them. Why not work now so that tomorrow would be easier? 7. Automate your saving So many bank apps now help people automate their savings. Simply download your bank app and see if it has this feature or open an account with a bank that does. This can save you a lot of stress. You do not even need to remember to save. At the end of every month, once you're paid, the amount can be deducted and saved in another account. It is useful to have several accounts for different things. That way, you don't interfere with your plans. 8. Use an expense tracking application. How do you even know when you have exceeded your monthly budget? Do you write it in a journal or make mental notes? Well, some people don't keep journals, and they definitely do not remember a lot of stuff. An app can help. Go to Google Play Store and check for an expense tracking app. Some are free, and others have subscription fees. You need to decide whether the amount you lose monthly exceeding your budget far exceeds the monthly subscription for the app that can help you. If it doesn't, go right ahead with your ways. But if it does, consider getting an app that can help you manage your finances better. Always check online for reviews on those apps before you download them. 9. Don't leave the lights on when you go out. Don't burn out all your units because you can't afford it. When living for work, do you leave the lights on? That's a terrible idea. Did you know that if your apartment's light and appliances are always on, your units can burn three times as fast than if they were all off? When leaving for work, take two minutes to turn off the lights and all of the appliances. Only leave the fridge on if there are things you are trying to preserve inside. 10. Buy brand new cars only, if possible. A car can be a buddy or a burden, depending on the situation. Buying a second-hand car may end up more costly in the long run. All the time you spend at the mechanic could have been applied productively. If you can, buy a brand new car. 11. Ensure your health. If you are not healthy, you can't work, and if you are sick, sometimes it can be far more costly than all the premiums you would have paid if you were insured. Ensuring your health actually saves you money. 12. Don't work with a bank simply because they want you to. Compare banks before you choose. Don't work with any bank simply because they marketed their services to you. Compare their interest rates, their bank charges, and customer service. Doing this will save you money in dealing with them in the future. 13. Have a monthly budget. This is one of the most effective ways of saving money. Taking the time to write them down also helps you keep to it. More than thinking about it, decide what you want to spend and stick to it. It saves you a lot of money. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.